Hey guys, welcome back to the Brooktron Homestead. Today is a video about our DIY pond and water feature for our ducks and our chickens. All right guys, so this is phase one of us redoing our duck pond. As you can tell, this is where it used to be at. I ended up taking all the stones and the old liner out. I've kind of got the shape of what we want here. We're gonna end up adding a creek water feature over in that direction. But this is phase number one, which is getting all the old stuff out. All right, so what I've been doing, again, like I said, I took the pond, the old liner that we had out, which was basically just Home Depot black plastic. Uh, we had stones all around the edge of it. I took all that out as well. Um, I'll show you a clip of what that kind of looks like. So this is all of the stuff that we took out. So you see the rocks, and then you see the tarp over here. So what we're trying to do here is clean out the pond and make it bigger. So when we make it bigger, the ducks have a better place to be. Uh, but what I've been doing now is you see the level behind me. So on this side is the higher level of our landscape. So as you can tell, our yard kind of goes this way. So what I have to do is on this side, I'm kind of taking some of the dirt out of the middle and I'm using it for the embankment here. So I'm trying to make it level all the way around. That way my water level is the same and I don't have any over spillage or overrun. Um, so that's what I'm working on here and that's what I've been doing. So I'm gonna kind of show you the process of how I've done that. So this is the high side of our pond. Basically what I did was I put my level here and you can see that bubble is pretty level where it's at. So I found my high point and I worked my way around the pond. So like I said, I was there, I moved it there and now I'm over here. I'm not perfectly level here, but I'm making this one a little shallower so the ducks can kind of walk in. But you see that dark clump there? There's more dark clumps here. I used that to try to get my level all the way around. So now this whole area is the same depth and levelness as where I just was. And that's going to be the inlet of my creek right there. So this area you see me working on, um, like I said, is the beginning of our creek. You may be wondering why I'm adding dirt is because I'm trying to lift this up because I'm gonna make kind of like a waterfall cascade into this pond from the creek. My son is gonna tell you what he is doing right here. So I'm patting down the dirt so it'll be sturdy when the water comes in and the water won't let go into the cracks of the dirt. That's why I'm patting it down. All right, so I've been, again, kind of cleaning out this area, trying to make my different levels going down. And I've been using the dirt that I get here to create my creek. So as you can tell, I kind of just have that rock there for placement, because I'm gonna try to get it to where the water is running over that rock, creating a little um, water feature there as well. But I'm having to use the dirt to raise that up because all that over there is lower than here. And I'm trying to get water over there for our chickens so we can use the pond water for our chickens and our ducks to get water so we're not having to fill their water bucket up. But that's what I got so far. I'll show y'all more updates as we go. Uh, so I have been working on it. I'm going to show you kind of the update on everything I've been doing. All right, so we ended up doing a little bit different than what I was originally saying. Uh, we came in about a foot here. 
we're about two foot on this shelf and almost three foot here uh didn't quite go the four foot because as you can tell it's all clay and i didn't feel like digging four foot um, but this is this we used the dirt from here and built up my water feature berm all around here um, the log that i had there or the stump is still there it's underneath all that dirt i used it as filling so i didn't have to use as much dirt but as you can tell again about a foot two foot three foot this is going to be a waterfall feature here and a waterfall feature here going into the pond but that's what we got so far i'll show you a little more as i get it done all right so now i got my underlayment on and basically what an underlayment does is going to protect the pond liner from any sharp edges or rocks or anything you may have which we had clay at the bottom so I put underlayment just about everywhere you're gonna see pond liner at. It's like extra security for the liner. Cause last thing you want is to build this pond and get a hole in the liner. And then you have to drain it, completely redo it all. So the underlayment is just extra security. So now that I have that down, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna put the liner in over top of this and then we're gonna see how it looks. absorbs the heat. <laughs> Wear gloves. All right, as you can tell, we got the pond liner in. We got rocks kind of going in it as we're filling it up. I gotta go get foam and stuff to finish the, the creek water feature area. But so far, we're getting it done. It's been a lot of work, but I'm definitely ready for it to be finished. So make sure you wash your walk, rocks all the way. Otherwise, your water will not be clean, but that's when we have a filter. All right, right now we got the pond area completely full. One tip I have to say is I forgot to put the pump in before filling it up. So next time, or when you do this yourself, make sure you put the pump in. That way you can hide the, the tubing and the wiring for that in the rocks and stuff. So tip with that. But now that it's full, we're gonna leave it full for a while. That way it can settle, everything can go good before I cut the excess pond liner off. I've also filled this up a little bit with some rocks. This is our first little water feature we're gonna have. Now I use the Great Stuff foam to do this because they have palm foam that's like gray and black, but that stuff's ridiculously expensive. So you can use Great Stuff. I'm gonna end up cutting off all this access really carefully. And then this is gonna be our first little waterfall here down through this creek. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to build some rocks up around it, foam it, you know, make another little waterfall into the actual pond area. So this is what we're going to be doing. This is the reservoir where I'm going to run the hose into and it's going to fill this area up. And then, of course, like I said, it's going to overflow and down through there. So that's what I'm doing so far. All right, so as you can tell, I've added more rock around the pond itself these rocks lining it in order to keep everything where it needs to be we put these rocks around it to keep the liner down uh, again i left quite a bit of slack on the liner around still because i wanted to make sure we had more than enough that's going to end up getting faded with more rock and some dirt probably going to get some top soil to cover the edges that way the grass can grow up <clears throat> that in there is kind of like our beach area 
That way the chickens and everything can walk in. Again, I might put some more rock over there so it makes it a little better for them to walk in and then dirt over that, cut that back some more. But this is about it right now. We got a lot more landscaping to do with it. I ended up having to add some more foam around my rocks. I added these two big boulders here to create my waterfall. These rocks here as well. As you can tell, I definitely added a lot more foam. Whenever I filled it up and was running it, it was leaking everywhere, so I had to add some more foam, so I'm gonna end up cutting that back. But this is where we are right now. My pump or my filter is over there. See my pump line coming in here. Again, like I said, your best bet is to put your pump in before you fill it up. I made that mistake, but I got it in, got it covered by some rocks. I'm gonna end up probably covering that with dirt. Uh, the filter is behind those logs. So here's the filter. I have it plugged in right now with an extension cord. Um, eventually I'm gonna put a, a outdoor outlet right here, but I have to trench down my fence and run a line from the house. But like I said, the pump runs here into the filter, from the filter to the spillway. And once I turn that back on and get everything running, I'll show you that. All right, so I've got it running now. I've had to add some more foam. As you can tell, I added another little spillway right here for it. But it's been running for a few days now. You can tell I got some algae buildup in it. I got to do some maintenance on it. But there's my spill well down into my water feature going into the pond and working in that. So this is kind of where I'm at. Again, I got to work on the maintenance of it because as you can tell, it's a little green, um, but I'm, I'm working on it, trying to get it to where I need to be. So this is it guys. If you have any questions about what I did and how I ran this, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will get back with you with that. Um, it was a lot of fun doing this. As you can tell, I'm going to be posting videos later on. Once I get everything complete, I'll post another video of it. Uh, we ended up putting some koi fish down in there. We have a few koi fish, a couple goldfish that's living in there. We're going to add a really nice array of pond plants um, and things all around it. So you know what? I'm excited. I love it. Our ducks are loving it. Our chickens are loving it. They're already in here swimming. The ducklings already got in here swimming as well. That's kind of why it's a little murky. Because uh, again, this is a duck pond. So I'm, I'm expecting it not to be perfectly clean the whole time. But it's amazing already. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, any comments, leave them in the description below. Uh, also, don't forget to like uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, God bless you. And you know what? We'll see you all next time.